Okay, so uh, I, uh, thanks to some comments from some, uh, some of our viewers, uh, the suggestion was put out that the bearings may have uh, uh, taken a hit from the zero oil pressure uh, run. Uh, I, I think that it, myself, I think I stopped it before it was too bad, but I, I needed to know. So I took the cap off of uh, number one uh, connect, uh, connecting rod here. And you can see that while there is some wear, there's no exposed copper and there's still plenty of lead in there. Um, I don't think we have to worry about replacing these bearings. But uh, good call for all those folks that, that recommended that I, I have a look at these bearings and make sure that they're not shot. Um, I, I think we're in the clear here and I, and I caught another break. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just to measure the, the, the distance and the tolerance I'm going to put some uh, some of that um, plastic gauge in there, and we'll measure the tolerance just to make sure that we're still good to go. All right. So if you've never used this plastic gauge before, basically what you do is you uh, you cut yourself a small piece of uh, of this. It's like a wax material, right? And you want to put it across the width of the bearing. Like that, it's like a piece of hair. That may actually be a little bit too long, but um, anyway, we'll adjust the size. But you take this little piece of wax, and you put it on there, and then you you put the bearing back in place, and then um, when you take it, uh, you want to torque it to its its torque spec. Uh, in this case, the the big end bolts on a lathe model uh, MGB, um, the torque specs uh, 33, 35, and um, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and torque that. And then, um, then we'll take it back off again. And then what you do is you take this little gauge and you measure how flat it squishes that little piece of wax. Um, and we're going to be aiming for, I don't know if you can see on here the measurements, it's a lot of glare. Um, I'll, I'll get a good picture of it when we get done. But uh, we're, we're going to just uh, take a quick measurement to confirm that we haven't lost any tolerances um, from any of this wear. And, and again, I think that this wear is uh, pretty much what you'd expect from a wear-in, just uh, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, than, than what, you know, typical. But uh, I, I don't think we have to worry about replacing these bearings at this point. So that's a, a sigh of relief. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the plastic gauge in here and get a good measurement on this thing. Uh, just to, just to confirm. All right, so I don't know if I can get this in focus. The uh, the plastic gauge goes from uh, this particular type goes from uh, 0.025, and it goes to 0.038 and 0.51, and then 0.75. Uh, what we wanted is basically either of these two gradients, the big one or, or the next one down. And again, obviously, if we could measure uh, uh, more accurate in between there, all the plastic gauge is is a, uh, a verification tool. It's not really a measuring tool. So I don't even want to get into the whole debate about the plastic gauge. Um, all, all I really wanted to do is to capture and, and see if it's any different than what it was when we put it together, and it's really not. Um, so we're, we're right in between these two settings right in here. And I think that looks good. Now the thing is, I was hoping that it would uh, that the, the the wax would have come off with the um, with the cap here, but instead of it, it stuck to the the connecting rod. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and clean these off, and I'm going to put some more uh, some more lube in there, and we'll get these things all all together. And uh, when we get ready to start this up again, I'm going to I'm going to pre-push. I'm going to push some oil through the system uh, so that I know that there's oil in in the uh, in the journals uh, when we do finally get it running. Um, I know that we got the the timing close and we got the carburetor idling, so um, we just need to get the oil doing its thing, and we'll be and we'll be cooking. So let's get this thing back together. For you. Uh... Those sharp-eyed eagle eyes out there watching me with uh, scrutiny, <laughs> I wanted just to point out, I did actually match the cap and put it back on the right direction. So here you can see the 757 matching up with the 757. 
So I, I didn't put the cat back on upside down or backwards. Just keeping myself honest.